Hey guys, my JoJo doll is right here and she's next to her suitcase because we are about to go on a vacation. We're going to Melbourne. It'll be so much fun because the main reason why I'm going is for VidCon. VidCon is a really awesome convention, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And the question for this video is, have you ever been to Australia? Be sure to leave your answer in the comment section down below and I just need to make sure everything's packed so we're ready to go on the vacation. Right now I'm on the plane on the way there and it seems like it's such a lovely day and it's such a pretty view from up here. We are nearly at Melbourne which is really exciting but I thought I'd show you this amazing view. We're going over some mountains right now so you can see all the ice and snow on the top of them. We have landed and we are in the taxi right now on the way to the city and it was a lovely flight and right now we're heading to the hotel. We have just arrived in the hotel room and it seems like it's so lovely and it's also quite large as well. We're staying near the convention center because that's where VidCon will be, so that will be really handy. And as you can see, my JoJo doll is sitting on the chair over there relaxing in the room. It seems like this room has a lovely view of Melbourne and the city part along with the river and you can see the exhibition center from the room too. The first thing I'll be doing is unpacking everything. So I have Jojo's toiletries and I'm in the bathroom right now. So right now I'm placing down the shampoo and the conditioner bottles. Those two can go right on the side. And right next to those pieces we have the toothpaste and of course the toothbrush too. And here are just a couple of extra items that were in her toiletry bag, including a nail file, dental floss, and those pieces can go right on the side. And as for the bag itself, that can go right at the corner. It's perfectly doll sized and it holds all the items that she needs. And one item that I couldn't forget to pack away is a hairbrush, of course. And finally, we have a really cute JoJo bow. And since we have arrived at the hotel room, let's go ahead and unpack Jojo's suitcase. So first off, we have her onesie. This is the perfect PJ lounge set. It is so cute and seems like it's very cozy. And the next item here is this lovely floral dress. It is so cute and it's perfect if she's going out to dinner or to a fancy event. So let's go ahead and place that right next to the onesie. And the final outfit here is, of course, the really cute little casual outfit. We have a pair of black leggings, and that will match the really cute little JoJo shirt. There's some gold on the bottom, and it has her name on the shirt, too. I'll also be placing down a couple of smaller accessories, including her jacket, and this will go great with the dress that I placed in the middle, and it's also in case if she gets a little bit cold. And this drawer will be perfect for some of the larger pieces. So we have her sleeping bag, and it's so cute. There's little hearts and flowers on it. And then we, of course, have a pillow. I couldn't forget to pack that, and it matches it because they're both purple. And then, of course, I have her suitcase, and that can go right on the side, too. And now that everything is organized and all packed away, it's time to go shopping. I'm so excited, as you can see, Bobo is sitting next to Jojo as well. It seems like it is a pretty cloudy day in the city, but that's all right. It'll still be so much fun to take a look at all of the different shops in the mall. We have arrived at the mall, and this place is so awesome. It's the Legoland Miniland Experience. It seems like it's really fun. There's a gift shop at the front, and there's also some really cool Lego figurines, and we have this person surfing at the front. Inside the store, there is this huge wall filled with different Lego pieces, and it's so satisfying to look at because they're all organized in different colors. The Lego store was so much fun to take a look at, but right now I'm at Build-A-Bear. Build is one of my favorite stores to go to because there are so many cute little outfits and accessories to take a look at. Right now I'm at a wall filled with outfits and there are some really fun princess pieces. There are so many different types of bears and animals to choose from, which is great, and I love how they're all styled at the top so you can see what they look like at the end. And here are a couple more Build-A-Bears. I think my favorite one would have to be the unicorn one. It is so cute and a lot of fun and would look great with any outfit. 
I have left Build-A-Bear and I'm at a really fun toy store and there's some really cute doll pieces so I have to take a look and see what they have. It seems like there is a lot of really large pieces including the kitchen, the boat, and there's a lot of smaller accessories too. There are so many really fun accessory sets. I love the one that has the sunglasses and the hair ties and the science kit is really cute as well and perfect for back to school too. And what's really great is if you go through all the different boxes, you might be able to find some extra sets in the back. There are also so many different dolls here, which is so much fun and they're all wearing different outfits and they have different accessories too. Right next to the dolls, there are some larger accessory sets, a really cute ballerina theme set, a camping one, and the slumber party is absolutely perfect. It comes with some really cute small pieces. And over here we have quite a few mini dolls. Their outfits are really great and perfect. And then we also have some pets at the bottom. And of course we can't forget to take a look at some of the outfits. There are quite a few soccer and sporty themed outfits, which is a lot of fun. And there's a lot of teal dresses. I especially love the one in the middle with the cute little balloons. And along the top of the shelf, there are some really large doll accessory pieces, including two ice cream trucks and a really awesome beach house. And it seems like this doll is about to get her hair styled next to the horses and the stables. And I'm going to buy these really adorable ocean themed PJs. We are back from the mall now and it was so much fun to take a look at all of the different stores there. But we are standing in front of this really lovely design and we are on the way to the pool. It's over there so let's see what it looks like. It is an indoor swimming pool and we have all of these lounges on the side which is perfect and really relaxing. And here we have Jojo sitting on one of the lounges. It seems like it is so relaxing and it's the perfect day to go swimming in the pool. Now that we've visited the pool, it's time to head out to dinner. Dinner has arrived and everything looks so yummy. So we have some pizza on one side and then there's also some salad in the middle and finally some meatballs are on the other side of the table. We are back from dinner and it was very delicious, but it is getting late, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the PJ set I bought earlier today at the store. It's so cute because it's ocean themed. There's a little mermaid accessory that comes with it, and we also have a top, a pair of pants, and some slippers too. So let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Jojo is wearing the PJ set. It looks really fun, and now she has to get ready for bed since it is pretty late. Jojo's pillow and sleeping bag are laid out, so she's going to go ahead and go to sleep. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's officially day two of the vacation, and it's VidCon day, so it's a really fun convention, and I can't wait to visit it and meet different YouTubers and go to panels and talks. So we're going to have some breakfast first before we go, but firstly, I'll have to get Jojo up. Let's go ahead and take out the outfit she'll be wearing today. So she'll be wearing the gold boots with the really cute sporty outfit and the leggings. And let's put away the PJ she wore last night. My Jojo doll is standing next to mini Bobo and they're actually wearing matching bows which is so much fun. But it seems like she's all ready to go so we're going to go ahead and go to breakfast first before we go to VidCon. Right now we are in line waiting for a table, but we're just about to head inside the breakfast room. We have arrived at our table and it has a lovely view of the river, which is really pretty and it seems like a gorgeous day outside, which is perfect for VidCon. There are so many food options to choose from and everything looks so delicious. The hotel we are staying at is a really close walk to VidCon, so it didn't take long to get here, but we have arrived, so it's time to head inside. I am at the main hall right now, and they have this really awesome board where you can sign your name or your channel, so I'm going to go ahead and write AGOSF. There are so many different displays and activities, and right now I'm at the Nickelodeon display. And it seems like there's a really awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle design on the side. And here's Jojo standing in the walkway area of the expo.
and I'm about to go up those escalators to visit the really awesome YouTube room, but there's this really fun TV at the front showing you all the different places you can go to. And this is what the room looks like inside. There's this really large wall with a YouTube sign in the middle. It's perfect for Instagram photos, and if we go along the side, there's a desk there in case if you need to know any information. And the other side of the room has a really fun lounge where you get to sit down and relax and maybe have a snack or talk to different YouTubers as well. It is now time to leave VidCon, but I had so much fun here. It was awesome meeting so many YouTubers and going to different talks and of course visiting the merchandising and the expo hall. So now it's time to go shopping at one of the local malls. I've arrived in this really awesome toy department and it's princess themed. You can see the wall in the back makes it look really magical and Jojo standing next to the bridge right at the bottom. And this is what the entrance of the Disney princess area looks like. It's definitely very magical and there's some curtains on the side and a mirror in the middle. Right next to the princess section, there's a miniature Build-A-Bear workshop. Even though I visited one yesterday, it's still so cool to see what they have, and you can see Jojo standing next to the stuffing machine. There are so many awesome bears to choose from. There is more of a selection at the other Build-A-Bear because this one is a little bit smaller than the one I went to yesterday. And next to the Builder Workshop, there's the Barbie area, and this part is so cool because there's a really large Barbie shoe. We have just arrived at Flory, and if you don't know what Flory is, it is a doll store in Melbourne. They have some really awesome dolls, outfits, and accessories too. And here we have the entrance to the store. There are definitely some really fun doll themed displays, and over on the side you can see some of the doll outfits and accessories. The display in the middle of the store is so lovely. You can see it's styled like a tree and there's little swings off each branch and there's a doll sitting on the swings as well, which is really cool. I had such a wonderful time taking a look at the store as it is so lovely and the doll items are really adorable too. We are back at the hotel and we're having a late lunch at this really lovely Japanese restaurant and they cook the food in front of you, which is really cool. And since this part of the lunch is finished, it's being plated onto the plate and we're just waiting for the rest of the food to finish cooking. Lunch was really yummy and for dessert, I'm having some green tea ice cream. Today was a very long but really exciting day, so I'm going to go ahead and grab Jojo's onesie and I'm also going to be putting away the outfit she wore today. Jojo is all ready for bed and she's sitting next to her puppy Bobo and she's wearing her really fun pink onesie. It seems like the sun is really starting to set and it's getting pretty late. My Jojo doll is in bed right now because it is really late so I'm going to go ahead and zip up the zipper in the sleeping bag and turn off all the lights. Good night everyone, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day and unfortunately we're leaving Melbourne today but we had such an awesome vacation and it was a lot of fun. It seems like such a lovely day out in the city. So let's go ahead and put away the PJs that Jojo wore the night before and let's pick out the outfit she's going to wear today and she's going to wear the really pretty dress with the boots and finally the little jacket to match. Right now I'm at breakfast enjoying some pancakes. They look really yummy and there's some ice cream on the top too. We are back at the hotel now because it is time to leave. We had such a fun vacation and everything's all packed and we're ready to go so we're about to head to the airport. We are in the taxi right now on the way to the airport and you can see there's a ferris wheel right in the middle of the city. Hey guys, I'm so excited because right now I'm on the way to Port Canaveral because I'll be going on a Disney cruise for a few days. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so you're notified every time I upload a new video. As you can see, the cruise ship is right ahead in the distance and I'm so excited to head on board. So I just completed the check-in process and this lobby is absolutely gorgeous. We have a chandelier on the top of the ceiling and then over here we have the rest of the lobby. You can see there's a Christmas tree and everything is so holiday themed because this is the very merry time cruise. 
I've just arrived in the room and it is so spacious. So there is a bed over on this side, which seems really lovely. And then there's also a couch too. It seems like Blair has made herself comfortable. She's already sitting down and relaxing and she just needs to go ahead and turn on the TV. So she's wearing her overall since it is quite warm because we are in Florida right now. And if we take a look at the view, there isn't much to see because we haven't left the port yet. There are a lot of other cruises, but it'll be so lovely to take a look at all the different sites while we're traveling. If you've been on a Disney cruise before, you know that they have a sail away party every time they leave the port. And this one's so much fun. All the different characters are dancing with some of the dancers too. The sail away party was really exciting, but we're back in the room now and Blair's just sitting on one of the chairs, relaxing on the balcony, just taking a look at the sunset as we leave the port. Let's go ahead and explore the rest of the ship before we have dinner. So, of course, the lobby is right here, and I absolutely love this cute little statue of Donald Duck. And of course, we are on the Disney Dream. And this activity section is so adorable. I love the nature theme to it, and the tables are wrapped around the tree as well, and there's also TV screens too. And right next door to that room, there is a Star Wars area. This place seems really interactive and a lot of fun. But of course, I think my favorite section would have to be the Toy Story Playhouse. It is so cool because all of the different characters from Toy Story are all incorporated throughout the room. And there's even a Mr. Potato Head. The reservation that I have for dinner is the 5.45 session, which means it is the earlier one. So it's time to head over to dinner now, and I'm so excited to see what's on the menu. So here we have a couple of the entrees. This one over here is pasta. And over here, there are some vegetable pot stickers. They were both so lovely, but here we have some mains, so there's some seafood pasta. And this dish seems to be mainly fish. And of course, we can't forget about dessert, so there is a little cake and ice cream, while this one seems to be a chocolate sundae. Dinner was so lovely, we ate at the Enchanted Garden, but now it's time to watch the tree lighting. This is a really fun event they have on Disney Cruises when it's the holiday season. The tree completely lights up and it looks so gorgeous and all the different characters come out to help. The pool seems to be really quiet, but with the lights on, you can definitely tell that the pool is shaped as Mickey Mouse. We are back in the hotel room now and you can see that there are three beds in the room instead of just one, but it's so cool because there is a sea creature that has been made from the towels and there's some chocolate as well. So there's one bed in the middle of the room and then over on the other side, there's two more beds. There's one that's come down from the ceiling and then the couch has turned into a bed too. Blair is all ready to go to sleep, so we have her Mary Ellen doll right here. So, good night everyone, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Blair is all ready to go, so we'll have some breakfast first of course, but we are in Nassau in the Bahamas and it seems like it is a gorgeous day today. The cruise ship seems to be so large from here, there are so many different levels and activities, but of course it's time to take a look at Nassau, so I'm just heading over the bridge to see what there is. And the sign at the front says, Welcome to Nassau. And over by the water, there are so many different shops, but I really like how they look like miniature houses. It goes great with the beach theme. We are back on the cruise ship now, and we're just sitting right next to the pool. There's a lovely seating area over at the side. Cabanas has a buffet-style lunch, so that is what we will be eating for lunch today. There are a lot of different tables to choose from, so let's take a look at the food. There seems to be a salad bar, and there's also some really delicious food too. But of course, there are a lot of different desserts to choose from. Lunch was delicious, but now it's time to head over to an activity down at Animator's Palette. And since there are, of course, holiday and Christmas theme craft and activities on the cruise, we will be decorating gingerbread men today. On the plate, there is some gingerbread. There's also some pieces of candy and icing too. Blair has found a deck chair right next to the pool to relax on. It was such a lovely day at the Bahamas, but of course the cruise ship is now leaving the port and they're heading over to Disney's private island, which is Castaway Key. I've heard so many great things about it, so I'm excited to take a look at the beach and the features there. I have just arrived at the candy store and I love how this store is themed to Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope. It's a really fun twist to just a regular candy store, but there are so many different types of ice cream, cupcakes, and candy of course too. 
This is so awesome, but it would definitely be very sweet. There are so many scoops of ice cream. It is a sundae in a trophy. So for dessert, I went ahead and purchased the unicorn cupcake. For dinner tonight, we will be eating at the Royal Palace, which is themed to the Disney princesses. So it's so classic, and these pictures are so pretty. So there's Snow White over here, and then over on the other side, there's Belle. The food has arrived, so for the starters, there's some fish cakes. And there's salmon for the main meal. And I'm so excited about dessert. It is a mint ice cream sundae. And of course, I can't forget to take a look at the animal towel on the bed. As you can see, it's shaped as an elephant. It's quite late, so Blair's all ready for bed. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It is quite a cloudy and rainy day here at Castaway Key, but hopefully the sun starts to shine soon. I'm sure it'll be a really great day, though. And because Blair is on a Disney cruise, she is wearing her Princess Anna outfit, and that is her favorite Disney princess. You can see the outfit is so much fun. She's got the dress and the cape on, too, and she's just sitting down on the chair connected to the balcony, enjoying the view outside. The Enchanted Garden is open for breakfast this morning and there is a small buffet so on the way there we were able to see some really fun drawings of different Disney characters. There's Pluto, Chip and Dale, and there's even Captain Hook too. It is a classic buffet with all of the breakfast items you need. I'm really excited about the Mickey Waffles. Blair, wearing her Princess Anna outfit, has found a table for us to sit on and it seems like she's all ready to have some breakfast too. And it was the perfect time that we finished breakfast now because the sun is now shining, which is so perfect because it will be such a lovely day to go swimming in the ocean and to enjoy the beach too. And it doesn't even look like it was raining just before, so it will definitely be a great day to explore the island. Stitch seems to be all ready for the beach wearing his tropical themed shirt. Blair is sitting at one of the portholes taking a look at the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is so festive and beach themed. You can see it is quite large from up above, but it's definitely a great photo spot. There are so many characters out for meet and greets too, including Donald Duck and Jack Sparrow. I have just arrived at the first stop and this is the main beach. It seems to be quite busy, so I'm going to head over to the other side to see if it's a bit more quiet. But this is so awesome. It is a water slide, but it's in the middle of the ocean. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before, but the line is very long, so I don't think I'll be going on it today. It's a bit quieter over on this side, and there are a lot of different people snorkeling, taking a look at the fish down below. I love how Olaf is the main character featured on Castaway Key, especially since he's made of snow, but he has so much merchandise here. After enjoying a lovely barbecue lunch, I'm back on the tram again and I'm heading back on the cruise ship. It definitely was a long day, but it was so much fun to relax on the beach. I can see the cruise ship. It's right over there, so the tram has nearly arrived at the last stop, so we're able to get off and head back to our room. There is a movie theater on board, so we're going to head down there to watch a movie. And the only movie that I haven't seen yet from this list is the new Maleficent movie, and it's just about to start, which is perfect timing. A movie wouldn't be complete without some popcorn. Blair is standing in front of the popcorn machine, waiting in line. There are also some really adorable popcorn holders themed to the holiday season and Disney characters too. I have just finished watching the movie, and it was in 3D, which made it a really great movie. It's time to leave and get ready for dinner. And it seems like the cruise ship is just about to leave the port. Castaway Key was so much fun and I hope to be back soon. It is time for dinner and there seems to be a very different theme tonight because it is pirate night. So there's a lot of pirate decor everywhere. So let's go ahead and sit down at our table. For starters, there's some soup. And we also have some crab cake here. And for the main part of the meal, it has arrived here some pasta with shrimp. And there's also some more pasta too, but it's just a different style. The show was great and we're back in the hotel room and the towel folding animal tonight seems to be an octopus and I love the chocolate. Rather than just the regular ones, these ones seem to be gold coins for pirate night. Blair is really exhausted and she's just getting ready for bed. So she's wearing her PJs now and she's going to go to sleep. Good night everyone, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, it is the next day and unfortunately it's the last day of the cruise so we will be heading off the cruise ship today. We have docked at Port Canaveral in Florida but it was so much fun to visit both Nassau and the Bahamas and Castaway Key. The beaches were beautiful and I absolutely loved the activities on the cruise ship. They were all so much fun and the food was delicious too. 
Hey guys, I'm currently in a car right now because I'm leaving the Disney World Resort because I'm going to Universal Studios. I'm staying at the Hard Rock Hotel for a couple of nights, which is really close to the park, so I can't wait to go there. I have arrived at the hotel and the room isn't ready yet, so I'm just relaxing on the club. It's great if you stay on the top level, you can go to the club and there's different types of food and there's a great place to relax as well. And the view is amazing and you can see the pool right outside. This is what the room looks like and I really like it because it's nice and casual and it suits the hard rock theme. As you can see, Gabby has already made herself really comfortable and the view outside is really nice and I love the gardens on the bottom. I'm back in that area where I was right at the start to pick up some yummy treats. They've left a couple of different afternoon snacks so they have some chips and some really delicious donuts. I don't think I'll be going to the parks tonight since it is pretty late, but I thought it'd still be fun to head on over to the City Walk because there's some really cool stores and really yummy places to eat at. This is the front of the first park, which is Universal Studios Florida. On the City Walk, there's a pretty large Universal store with a lot of different plush toys and items from different movies and rides. So here's the Sing section and I love that movie. It's really fun and they have a lot of different pieces for the different characters. Next to that, there is a Secret Life of Pets section too, and everything is just as adorable and I can't decide which movie I like better as they're both so much fun. I was able to have some really yummy dinner at a pizza place but I didn't get a chance to film it, but I am going to head back to the hotel now as it's getting pretty late. It's time to dress Gabby in her PJs so she can get into bed. Good night Gabby, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, I have a full day planned so let's leave early. I will be going into the theme parks today. I'm going to be going to Islands of Adventure first, but I will go to Universal Studios. We're allowed in the park an hour early before everyone else because we're staying at the hotel, which is really exciting, so that's why it's quite quiet. But everything is so pretty, and you can see the huge Hulk roller coaster. But the main reason why I'm early is to see Wizarding World of Harry Potter, so let's head over there first. It's so pretty and so realistic, and I personally love this place so much, so let's take a look at everything up close. Right at the entrance, they have the Hogwarts Express. It's really fun because it's always there, so you can take a photo, and right next to it, they actually have a train that can take you to the other park. The first store that I'm going to go into is Honey Jukes, which is a really yummy candy store. This is the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean section and there are some really strange flavors, some gross, some strange, and some really yummy. And if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend trying it out. There are so many different types of candies and chocolate at this store as well and it's really cool to take a look at everything because they're obviously Harry Potter themed. It's now time to head on over to the other park and by doing this you catch the Hogwarts Express so the first thing I need to do is wait in line before I get on the train. I have arrived into Universal Studios and that was so much fun. It's pretty amazing and not a lot of film inside but they have a screen and you go into a little carriage and it's a pretty cool journey and I definitely recommend doing it if you have both park tickets. So now it's time to go into the other Wizarding World park. This is the first store here. It's a little joke shop and it's pretty cool and it's owned by the Weasley Brothers, so let's go inside. Inside they have some really adorable pieces and they have a lot of Pygmy Puffs and Pygmy Puff items and they are so cute. As you can see, Gabby has fallen in love with them and I especially love the cute little slippers. It was really funny because one of the people working at the stores were helping me set up a scene. It was really nice of him, but all the pygmy puffs kept on falling, so I thought it was a pretty cool clip to add in. This is what I was able to get, and I thought it was a really fun clip. Gabby's right in the middle, and she's surrounded by pygmy puffs. 
It's now time to take a look at the rest of Diagon Alley, and this here is an amazing ride that goes through Gringotts, and the dragon has so much detail up top, it actually breathes out fire every once in a while. I couldn't get a clip of it, but it's still pretty awesome. This is where I will be eating for lunch, and it looks pretty extravagant, but I think the food will be quite delicious. The dessert looks pretty amazing, so it's now time to walk over to the table. Here we have the menu and these are the sundaes. There's photos of different types of food and the banana cream pie looks absolutely delicious. And if we flip the page over, we have more sundaes and desserts. And now it's time to see what they actually have for lunch on the menu. The pork belly sliders have chocolate on it, so that would be really interesting to try. The food has arrived and it looks definitely interesting, so it's time to try it to see what it tastes like. Now it's time to have some more food. The last clip that I showed you guys was of me having lunch, but right now I'm at Disney Springs. I thought it'd be fun to get some shopping done for the rest of the afternoon. Right now I'm at the Coca-Cola store and it's pretty amazing. There's quite a few levels and it's pretty awesome to take a look at all the different pieces that they have. This is the Evolution of Coke. It's a really great set, but it's a little bit too large for the dolls, but these pieces underneath are perfect for them, so I might pick one up. It's now time to take a look at a couple of the Disney stores. I think this would have to be my favorite store so far. The doll size Christmas tree is amazing and I love all of the little ornaments around it. There's even a frozen area with Anna and Elsa ornaments. So here we have the Anna shoe ornaments and the Elsa ones are right on top. And on this side we have even more ornaments and Elsa and Anna are wearing the outfits they wore in Frozen Fever. There are a lot of princess ornaments as well, and I really like the detail on their dresses. It's now time to leave Disney Springs, and I had so much fun here. There's some really cool shops, and now I'm heading back to Universal. I'm back at Universal Studios, and it's time to have some dinner after a long day of shopping and riding rides and going to the theme parks. The place that I'll be eating tonight is in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is so cool because everything's really British, the food, and it looks so delicious. I decided to have the shepherd's pie and it was so delicious and I had such a great dinner. To finish the night off, I thought it would be fun to go watch Moana. It seems like such a great movie and I can't wait to watch it. It's really late so I'm going to head back home but Moana was such a fun movie and I loved it so much and it has to be one of my favorites. Gabby is already dressed in her PJs and I have her blanket on so I just need to switch off the lights. Good morning guys, it's the next day and it's beautiful outside except it's my last day here at Universal Studios so I'm going to head over to the parks early. Since dinner was so delicious, I'm heading back to the same place for breakfast but obviously they have different types of food for breakfast compared to dinner. But I think I might go with the pancake breakfast because that one looks yummy. Now that I have finished breakfast, it's time to take a look at some of the rides. So here we have a water ride. As you can see, a lot of the people get really wet on it, but it looks like it's definitely worth it since it's a lot of fun. Here we have a clip of the Scooby-Doo cast. It's time for lunch and the food has just arrived. Both pieces are fish and I can't wait to eat it. It looks really delicious. Unfortunately, it's now time to leave and head back home, but I did have a wonderful vacation in Florida. Hey everyone, I just arrived at the Gold Coast and today I'm going to be showing you my vacation. I'm only going to be staying here overnight, so it's quite a small trip, but Joss has decided to come along with me, so I'll be showing you all the different adventures we'll be going on. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And be sure to visit my Instagram, it's AG Overseas Fan, and that's the exact same name as my channel name. So we have been driving for a while, but I'm pretty sure we've arrived at the resort. I have stayed here before and it's so lovely, so I'm really excited to travel back there. When we arrived at the resort, the room was all ready so we could go ahead and check in. Of course, there's the beds at the front. There's also a lovely couch and living space. And then there's a TV too, which you can move to the TV or to the lounge. And the view is so lovely from the room. It has a lovely garden tree view. 
So let's go ahead and unpack Joss's items. So there is a perfect cabinet space to be able to store all of her items away. So the first item we'll be placing down are our PJs, so the leggings, and the matching shirt. And to complete that outfit, right next to that, we will be placing down her slippers. And then I do have a casual outfit too. And as I said before, it's only an overnight trip, so we haven't packed too much for her. So here is her beach casual outfit, which is perfect for her vacation. And then there's the matching shoes for those as well. And those are the sandals she'll be wearing down to the beach. So I didn't bring any flip-flops. She'll just go ahead and wear those. And then here we have a couple of extra jackets and a hat too. And a vacation by the beach and pool would definitely not be complete without a swimsuit. So here are some items from her collection. So there's her wetsuit top. And then we also have her matching swimsuit too. And then of course, as I said before, we won't be packing flip-flops. She'll just use the sandals from the other set too. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of the accessories that I packed for her. So first off, we have her tablet, and then up next, there is a journal, so she can write down all of her different adventures while traveling, a Luciana book, since she brought her Luciana mini doll, some sunglasses, a phone, and her hearing aid case too. And an essential that she definitely needs to bring on her trip is a toiletry case, which she could go ahead and place in the bathroom later on, but I'm just going to place it down here for now, and then also some hair accessories too. And now that we've unpacked everything, let's go ahead and see what's around the resort. So here we have Joss sitting down in front of one of the lagoons. There's a lagoon that goes all around the rooms, which is really great, and it connects everything together. I think Joss would rather go swimming at the beach over the pool, so she might wait to go swimming until later on in the day. Joss is sitting down and relaxing on one of the beach chairs. Can you find her? She's kind of hiding, and she is a little bit small, but she's definitely there. We are at the mall and we have found some doll items. There are so many different dolls, outfits, and accessories available, and it's really great to take a look at some of the sets that I haven't seen at the store before. Over in this section, there seems to be more smaller accessory packs. There is the kitchen set over there, but there's a back-to-school set and a cooking set too, but right underneath there is a styling head so you can practice hairstyles. A really popular furniture and accessories that would have to be the school set here, but they also have the Christmas fireplace, a horse stable, and a retro bowling alley. It's really great to see, and it seems like it's a lot of fun. One store that I love visiting to take a look at some of their accessories and outfits is, of course, Build-A-Bear. They have their Disney princess section and some more casual outfits over on the other side. They have quite a few different bears available, and there's a section where they have a blind bag so you don't know which bear you're actually opening up, which is so cool. And we're just taking a little bit of a rest. So here is an egg waffle. It's one of my favorite treats, but there are actually pearls inside. And then I also have another drink and it's passion fruit. And we are back. We're heading back to the hotel room now. It was really lovely exploring all the different stores at the mall. And since the beach is really close by to where we're staying, Joss is going to go ahead and get ready to go swimming at the beach. Let's go ahead and get a few items that she might need for a day by the pool. So her book, so she's able to read that and relax. Some sunglasses, but it doesn't seem to be very sunny out, so she might not need those. And then her swimsuit too. She does need a few items from this drawer as well. So first off, there's her hat, which matches her swim set, and some sandals too. It does seem to be a bit cloudy today, but since it is Queensland, it's still quite warm, so Josh should be able to still go swimming at the beach. And right in the middle of the sand, there is a surfboard, and that's for the lifeguard, and then Joss is standing right next to it. In Joss's story, she loves to go surfing, and she loves to go on the beach, so this is definitely a perfect holiday for her to go on. Joss is sitting on the sand relaxing, and she is about to build a sandcastle. There's a bucket right next to her, and there's also some sand molds too. It was really lovely to visit the beach, but we have to leave now. Hopefully we'll be able to visit again. And since it is quite late, Joss will be getting ready for bed and she'll be getting dressed into her PJs. And since today has been such a busy day, Joss just wants to sit down and relax. She has her mini Luciana doll, so I'm going to go ahead and give her her tablet. And now it is time to order dinner. So we will be ordering off of the room service menu, which is really lovely because today has been quite tiring and exhausting. So Joss will get to choose what she wants to eat. Room service has arrived and there's actually quite a lot of food. So there's buffalo wings and onion rings. There's also a salmon dish and there's some pasta and some dessert too. And I think Joss might've ordered a little bit too much food. 
As I said before, it's quite late. Dinner was really lovely, but now it's time for Joss to get ready for bed. And of course, I can't forget to give her her mini Luciana doll. So good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and unfortunately today we'll be checking out since it's only an overnight stay. So for today's outfit, Joss will be wearing her beach casual outfit, a part of her collection. And for breakfast today, we will be eating from the buffet and there are so many different options there. It's just a short walk away, so let's head over in that direction. We have arrived, so let's go ahead and see what they have. So over here, there are a couple of different condiments. There's yogurt and fruit too. And over here, there's just a few classic breakfast food items like mushroom, tomatoes, and hash browns too. And something you wouldn't normally have for breakfast is ice cream, but they do have it here. It would be a great addition with pancakes or waffles. And if you did just want something a little bit lighter, there's cereal as well. Unfortunately, it is now time for us to leave the hotel, but I had such a lovely stay here. It was so great to explore the beach, the pool, and go shopping, and then relax at the resort as well. So thanks for watching.